right, so we're camping at Wangai Falls, or Wangi, depending on how you want to say it. And today we're going to do the loop walk, or treetop walk, I think it is. Either way, we're coming up here and we're going around the top. There's a lookout platform here, and then around to the top of the waterfall, where we were swimming yesterday, in here. And then back down around again, through the trees, and then finish off at the base. And then we're going to go for another swim, because it is hot. So, oh, I don't handle the heat too well, <laughs> but it is humid. Last night it was absolutely sticking. We had a bit of rain in the afternoon, and it was uh, a fair bit. It come down, I know, I'm no weather expert, probably about 10 mil, 10, 15 mil or something. And uh, yeah, it got quite sticky after that. And it's still humid now, so. So we're gonna go on a big long walk. But anyway, there's a, you can go for a swim at the top, I think, so we're gonna go out there, have a swim, and then swim when we get down to the bottom. And I think we're gonna have some lunch and go exploring other places. We're here at Litchfield Park, National Park, and we're here for four nights, I think we're staying. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of, lot of time to go around and check out all the sites. There's a lot of different gorges, a lot of walks that you can go on. So yeah, we'll check it out. sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage at the moment so you can't swim at the top it's just a little walk bridge over like a creek sort of thing and there's all um, uh, cultural sites around there so you can't um, you're not actually allowed in there but you can just walk over this bridge it's pretty nice to look at and everything like that but we were thinking there'd be a walk but there wasn't so heading back down the other side now get down to the bottom into the falls down the bottom and have a swim down there it's pretty um pretty good track, nice and um well it's well maintained, it's got paths everywhere, handrails, things like that, so it's not too difficult. As you can see, yeah, so it's sort of like these sort of paths here, easier to walk on. Yeah, moderate fitness level apparently.
So we've had lunch, now we're gonna be doing the uh, Sandy Creek walking track. And we're down here at the campground, day use area. And it's just a walk in along the river, up first past the bat pup, up into the swimming hole with the waterfall. And it should be pretty good, so it looks like that. It flows all year round, so it should hopefully not be dry at the moment. Uh, it's about a one and a half K in, one and a half K back out. So about yeah, three to three and a half Ks, give or take. Um, apparently it's moderate, so we'll see how we go. Are you looking forward to it, Esther? Yes, I'm all ready. I've got my camel back on, my hat, no pants, and my bathers. Yeah, pants are optional. All right, let's do this walk. Well, don't go like that. <laughs> it hurts when I do this. Well, don't do that. It's life of a child. You're looking very red today, Daddy. Red pants, red bag. Hopefully there's no bulls there, dear. Red skin. <laughs> red rocket. Nicely. Come on, Yoda. All right, so we've made it here to Sandy Creek, or I think it's Janera Falls, um, and it's beautiful. We're a bit hot and sweaty, so we're ready for a much needed swim. But apparently the easiest way to get in is by helicopter. Check out the top of the falls up there. There's a helicopter perched up the top. That might have been a bit easier, hey kiddies? Oh, yeah. Fly in and base jump from the top. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be so fun. So it's pretty sweaty. Whew. But it's a pretty good reward I reckon. It wasn't a hard walk, it was an easy walk. A um, few little rocks along the way but nothing too difficult. So going for a swim.
Any wallet, damn it. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped recording. What do you do, honey? <laughs> I did a cake, but I found them. You weren't underneath a raging waterfall. <laughs> Guys, Racy, is that a good one? Yes, it was. <laughs> Asta, what do you reckon? Brilliant. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Any place where you can jump off into the water is good. Yep. It's always fun. Kids like that. Fantastic. Astro, I love it when you walk straight in front of the camera when you're talking. Peace out. Alright, well that was Chinera Falls all done. It was an awesome swim. Great place to hang out. Spent, spent a few hours there. Ari's yelling, as per usual, and we're going to make our way back, aren't we? Yeah, the only bad thing about heading back is there's no swimming hole at the car park. <laughs> so another 40 odd minute walk. Yeah, it only took us about 40 minutes, it was 1.7 k's. Yeah. It says allow an hour and a half. I think it's an hour and a half walking backwards or something. Because it's... Or maybe it's an hour and a half return, I don't know. Yeah. Either way. Not too shabby. That's pretty good. Any bad side is it is sticky as a kid's fingers in a lolly shop. It's <laughs> disgustingly sticky. But it's ready. The storm was worth it. Doing Esther? Mm, we're going on the Toma Creek Walk. No, we're not, not doing the Toma thing. Creek Walk, we're doing Just the lookout. lookout and then we're going to do the lookout walk, um, which is only so we're just going up 800 meters return. Here. And it says that these lookout walks here are all wheelchair accessible. So easy, grade one, just to go and view the waterfall. Shall we do it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, so today we're at the Cascades and we're gonna be doing the upper and lower walk. So pretty much we're down here in the car park, just having a bit of a morning tea down here. Oh, let's just shoot our way up. And then you can either go all the way around to the upper cascades, which I don't know if we're gonna do, and then some people swim down to the lower ones and keep going, but we're gonna have to have all our stuff obviously with us, so I don't know how we're gonna do that. Or you come up and then you just walk up here to the lower cascades where you can swim. So we'll have to work out what we're doing with that one, but anyway. So it's day three here at um, Litchfield National Park and it is still hot. It was yeah quite hot last night and sticky. No rain yesterday, but um, the bugs came out like it's oh, just everywhere. Just attracted to the light. So definitely recommend if you've got any sort of camping light, make sure they're the yellow ones. Um, our caravan hasn't. It's just got the white lights and they just, just stick to it. So yeah, it wasn't very pleasant last night. Um, we ended up eating in the dark, just well, sort of dark, just because it was just so bad. But anyway, those are the things out in the bush. But yeah, so we'll head on this uh, this walk and we'll see what it looks like. At what point do you forget your undies? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's oh. the point where you... I walked so them. hard my undies fell off. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Got, uh, some of these rocks are a little bit slippery. Good thing they have these chains here to hold on to. Whoop, there you go, just like that. Hold on to the chains, guys. Ari, maybe put the stick down, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. How cool is it? Oh yeah, it is warm.
So we've done the lower cascades and now we're walking up to the upper cascades. So there's a bit of a track here, but you just gotta sort of navigate the rock face a little bit. There's the lower cascades down there. Yeah. See that you have to walk back out to the start and go around the long way, so I've seen a lot of people come down through here, so it's obviously doable. Just work our way up. All right, so we're at Undy Camp number two. There's two people out there going commando at the moment. If you've lost your undies, it's on the Cascade Walk. A little bit of a steep climb coming out the upper Cascade Walk. What do you reckon? Made a little bit slower <laughs> by people who are a bit slow and windy. Dawdling. <laughs> Kids are doing good effort. Making it up here. Close copy in the background. For all you over 60, it is oh, doable. Recommend it. <laughs> they recommend it or you don't? Look, okay. someone has walked so hard, they've walked the soles off their shoes. <laughs> so there's, there's someone out there with no undies and one shoe. Down here at Florence Falls now. Um, pretty much just had a bit of lunch, and now we are going to just do the lookout. There's a little lookout down here, and then go down some stairs to the falls for a swim. So there's like 135 stairs, um, steel stairs, all pretty easy by the sounds of it. So we'll go down and check that out. You can camp here as well. There's two spots. There's a um, old four-wheel drive camp, which is a little bit harder to get into, I think, but it's pretty basic, but it's just off the track sort of thing. And then a two-wheel drive camp. We pulled in there just to have a look. And yeah, it's pretty good sites. There's lots of them. There's probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 sites, 25 sites. All fairly well looked after and everything like that. There's a long drop there. Also got, each site's got their own fire pit. I think there's even showers there too, so not too bad. So that's at Florence Falls campsites. Anyway, we'll go for a walk down now. We'll check out these falls. I can hear them already, so it's another hot day. So whew, let's get in there and have a swim. So there's the falls here at the lookout. You can see people splashing around, jumping off the rocks, so it should be a good time for a swim.
All right, so that was uh, Florence Falls. It's not, I don't know, not our cup of tea. It's really, it's nice. It's, oh, a, it's a wonderful yeah. thing to go in and have a dip and everything like that, but it's way too crowded. Lots of, um, just lots of people there, I suppose. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot of tourists. It's right next to the, um, yeah, next to all the campgrounds and that. So it's only about a 10 or 15 minute walk down there from the campground. So everyone goes there of an afternoon so and it's an easy walk down to it it's just a flight of stairs down and flight yeah. of stairs up so i guess it's easy access <clears throat> but overall i mean it's a nice really nice picturesque yeah. looking there's lots of fish swimming around you nibbling on your legs mm. um you can't really do much jumping and bombing and things like that because there's a lot of rocks there's a lot and of exposed people. rocks there's and people, people around, so. so but no it's, i mean it's nice but no, i don't think we'll probably come back to this one again no i think also like as far as the campgrounds go i think Wongai falls was better at the moment, this time of the year, it's better with the amount of people that are there and just accessing that Wongai Falls swimming hole, I think, is nicer, easier, bigger, yeah. sort of grassed area to get down in there so you don't feel like you're jam-packed in with a whole heap of tourists. So that was all right, but yeah, we like the more quiet laid, yeah. quiet laid back ones, don't we? But anyway, still- Ones that are a bit harder to access, I think. Yeah. There's not as many people go there. That's it. So I think so far, like my favorite's been like Sandy Creek, probably because even though it was a good walk down in there. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like not very crowded and it was a really lovely waterfall and that's so hmm. pretty good. Anyway, so that's it for just our day three. Opinion, isn't it? Yeah, just our opinion. But yeah, so day three is done and then tomorrow we're off doing uh, more stuff. So yeah, we'll um, yeah. catch up tomorrow. And there's 135 steps. There 135 steps. 135 we counted steps. them all and they were right, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, accurate with that but yeah pretty easy walk in and out we're just sweating because it's humid True. but yeah all right cool that's that day three done so dry season day three and it's absolutely teeming down at the moment Nice river running through the camp area here, but we've still got the roast veggies on and they look good. Oh yeah. Wet enough? I got saturated. Yeah, that's dismally wet. Yay. Walks um, in Litchfield Park have got toilets at every single spot, which is good if you have kids that always seem to only ever need to go once you're about to start doing something. Third time lucky, you reckon? Hopefully. Hopefully. Get over the seats. Yeah, it's not easy to get in and out, is it?